I'll go to the last method. This is the last method. This is called the shell method. Sometimes it's called the cylindrical shell. The shell method, sometimes known as cylindrical shell method because it looks like a cylinder, but then it's hollow in the middle. The important thing for cylindrical shells, guys, is, of course, the, the form. This one's just the derivation and some explanations. I would like you to read this. Let's go to this note. Element is parallel to axis of revolution. So look at this, guys. The element is horizontal, and your axis is this, also horizontal. So in that case, the element and the axis of revolution are parallel to each other. In that case, this is called the cylindrical shell method. So I'll just draw, for example, here. Say this is the axis, and then this is your element the orange element. Yeah, there. It would form sort of like a shell. Meron siyang mafaform the shell. And then the parts are this would be your H. This is your R. But then since there is a thickness, that is dr. And then the formula in solving for this is 2 pi r h dr. Imagine last time dh lang tayo. Ngayon 2 pi r h dr. May ganun lang. Um, formula. So this one, this slide, just shows us the derivation, just like the previous ones. So derivation from the summation to the actual limits. Mm, the top formulas might be a bit confusing, but then just remember that the formula that you will be using is 2 pi integral of r h dr from a up to B. So let's have this, for example. For this one, this would be the radius, and that is the thickness of your radius. And then this is the height. So if you were, would like to know how it looks like, so the shape, There. Something like this, guys. And then this is your axis of revolution. If we continue that to the top, and then let's use the orange one, the element that we have, it forms your shell. So this is your axis of revolution. So here, let's have the parts. R, H, DR, integral from A to B. The DR so happen to be a DX. No problem with that. Therefore, if it's um, x, let's look at the limits. Of course, this is 0, 0. We look at the x values from 0 up to 1. No problem with that. Let's look at the height. The height is up minus down. So y up and y down. y 
of the upper portion is x minus x cubed. Y of the lower portion, the element always touches the bottom. So y equals 0. Now, x, x right minus x left because the radius is x right minus x left. Look, this element here, it can be at any value of x, the, the radius. It can be at any portion. So that one, let's just call this any arbitrary x value. Whereas the left portion of that one, the left side is here up to the axis of revolution, zero. Therefore, using the formula 2 pi integral from A to B of RH dr, this one would be 2 pi from 0 to 1 of R, which is x minus 0, and then h is x minus x cubed minus 0, and then dr, which is dx. So, because here, look guys, this one is a bit more difficult than the other two. Because ito, may r, may h, may dr. All you need to know first is your dr, then yung h, and then yung r. Yung r kasi parang sabi niyo, sir, eh, but yung r, napaka-arbitrary, yes. The radius is any arbitrary x value. It can be at any x value. The h kasi h, y up minus y down. Whereas yung r mo, x right minus x left, you know that the x left would end at the axis. But what about the x right? x right can be any x value. So x minus 0. So here. So, so when you notice the formula is that one. It's solved here. But let's solve. Find the volume of the solid generated by revolving the area bounded by the curve and the lines bounded by that and the lines x equals 0 is the y-axis. x equals 0 and y equals 8. So y equals 8, let's just say this is an arbitrary y equals 8. So the shaded portion is this portion. It says their vertical element. So let's draw our element immediately. Okay, you are revolving the area about letter A, about the line y equals 8. Okay, so I would be revolving it about this. So let's go to the intersections. In here is an intersection. In there is another intersection. So when x equals 0, you can plug it in the equation. y is 0. By the way, the equations are here. y equals x cubed. Um, y equals 0. And x equals 0. Another intersection is this. When y equals 8, x equals 2. Just plug um, 8 in here. Okay, so let's label the parts. You know that this one up until here is your radius. This one is your dh. So when you look at how it is revolved, right? It's being revolved about this. The question is, is it always attached? Does it have any hole, guys? Or is the element always touching the axis of revolution? No hole. Since um, element perpendicular to the axis, no hole. Therefore, disk. So for that, the formula is pi from A to B of R squared dH. So all the parts that we need are dH A and B. For your R, it so happened to be
Y up is Y equals 8. Y down A, it's Y equals X cubed. Therefore, R is 8 minus X cubed, right? And then DH is a D, D X. There are the is dx. Therefore, I would look at the x values from 0 up to 2. Therefore, the formula that I have is pi from 0 to 2, 8 minus x cubed squared dx. So in here, we have to expand. This is 64. 16x cubed plus x to the 6 dx. So we can integrate now. 64x minus 4x to the 4 plus x7 seven over 7 from 0 to pi 128 minus 16 times 4. 64 plus 128 over 7 minus 0 minus 0 plus 0. So this is pi 64 plus 128 over 7 so 448 plus 128 is 576 over 7 pi cubic units. That is your volume. Now, it's exactly the same, but then it's horizontal element now that I'm asking. So how do I do that? So here, y equals 8, and then it's exactly the same drawing, guys. So um, I'll just label them, 0, 0. This is 2, comma 8. About the line y equals 8, so it's still the same. You're rotating it about this portion. The only problem is now we are asked to solve for it using a horizontal element. Earlier, a vertical element, it's easy because it's just method of disks. But for this case, it may not be method of disks anymore. Look, element is parallel to axis. So automatically, this is method of shell or cylindrical shells. So since you're revolving it about that, we need to have the parts. So this one, I'll use red instead. That one up to there is your radius. This is your BR. And then the length of your element up to here is your height. So take note, that let's table the parts. This is y equals to zero. That's x equals to zero. Okay. How does it look like? If you revolve the element about the axis, which is ito, the one on top, you will form a shell. Yeah. So it's a cylindrical shell. So what's the formula for cylindrical shell? Volume is 2 pi integral from A to B of R, H, and dr. So you need these parts. So R, H, dr, and the integral from A to B. Let's go to the dr first. The dr, we know that that's dy. So I'll be looking at the y values. 
zero up until eight. No problem with this. Now the height, the height of the element is this. It's x right minus x left. What's the x of the right? X is equal to diba x cube yan. Therefore, x is equal to the cube root of y. Minus what's the x left? Look, the x left is 0 because x equals 0. Or like that. Now, what about this one? The r, since everything is in terms of y, the radius is arbitrary, but you know that radius ends up with 8. So 8 yung pinaka axis of revolution. Up until when? You don't know where it touches because look, look at the radius. Diba? It touches any at any value of y. So this one is 8 minus y. Ang nalilito yung students lagi, bakit may y? Sa nanggaling yung y? Kasi look, you know that it starts from y equals 8 up until it touches the element. The element can be placed anywhere. So since it's in terms of y, it's 8 minus y. Therefore, the volume would then be 2 pi from 0 to 8 of r, 8 minus y, cube root of y, dy. So some of you might say, sir, it's not solvable. It is actually solvable. 2 pi from 0 to 8. So this is 8, cube root of, sorry. I forgot the root. Cube root of y minus this one is actually y to the four thirds. dy. So when you solve this, 2 pi, 8, 1 third plus 1, that's 4 thirds over 4 thirds minus y. 4 thirds plus 1 is 7 thirds over 7 thirds from 0 to 8. So there's 2 pi. Um, 8 divided by 4 is 2 times 3, 6 times 8 cube root is 2 to the 4 is 16 minus 3 over 7 cube root What's 2 to the 7? 1 to 8, right? So this one, minus 0, minus 0. Okay. So 2 pi. This is 96 minus 384 over 7. Guys, what's this? Can you please calculate for me? 96 minus 384 over 7 multiplied by 2. 576 pi cubic units. This is the volume.